So I was asked last week in last week's video many, many times how I did the tracking shot. So I thought I'd show my little setup for that. It's a, it's a, a super hacked together camera track, but it seems to work. So the parts for this project have all come from previous, previous projects and previous shoots. So I, I made the track and the dolly and the gearbox in the past. So it was, it was sort of a matter of just reusing those, but what I've added is a, is a motor and a speed control for that motor. I finally found a slow, or a motor that's, that's geared down to, I think, three revolutions per minute. So it's, so it's a really slow motor. And I found a speed control that works with that motor. So I can slow it down even more than that. When I turn the motor on, the motor then turns a little gear, which then turns a much bigger gear. And then that bigger gear winds up a string on that, that bigger gear's axle. So I'm sort of doubly slowing down the movement of the motor. So it's slowed down enough where I can have the camera dolly move seven to eight feet or so over, over 30 minutes or so, which makes it move, move really slowly so that if I do a time lapse over 30 minutes, you, you see what's going on in the view of the camera really quickly, but the movement of the camera is slow and smooth. So you, you get sort of that juxtaposition of the two movements, which I think is what most people were drawn to. I also had the camera track set at a little bit of an angle so that the string is pulling the camera dolly uphill. That's what puts tension on the string. Now, now you could also make it level and then have a string on the other side of the camera dolly with a weight that it's lifting. One thing that would be nice to do at some point in the future is to make a, a little gauge for the speed control knob so that I can turn the knob to a particular time on the track. So if I want to do a time lapse that's going to be 15 minutes, there'll be a 15 minute mark on there. Or if I want to do a 30 minute time lapse, that'll, that'll be a, a 30 minute mark. Because th th those things exist somewhere on the dial, but right now the dial is just a dial in space and it has no, no reading to it as to what speed I set the motor at and what that means as far as how long the time lapse is. So what, what that would take is some testing and some just running it a bunch of times and seeing how fast it moves depending on where the, where the little knob is. <laughs> Thanks for watching.